Hi, my name is Ari Zucker, and I'm on Days of Our Lives, and also with the Women of Leadership First. And I'm here to express to you the importance of honesty. First and foremost, honesty, it's quite simple. The more honest you are with yourself, the further you will get along in life. So, what does honesty mean to you? I want you to ask yourself that question. You're telling the story about yourself when you're honest with people. Because there's no cover, it's just you. I'll tell you, it's a scary place to be though. And I'm sure the first thing you hear about being honest is, you know, oh, I have to tell people who I am, or oh, I have to dig deep, and it's a scary place to be. And especially when, no matter who you are, what family you've grown up in, it's, we all have a story. And to be honest about those stories, or to be honest about who you are as a person, it's a challenge. And you have to overcome the fears of being honest with people. Because quite frankly, I have learned that the more honest you are with people, the more real you are with people, you actually break down walls and barriers. And uh, I'll just give you an example, a, a small example. You know, number one with, with my work, with what I do for a living. I've been on Days of Our Lives for 14 years. From when I started to now, there's a big difference in uh, as an actress. But one of the biggest things that I learned was to be honest. And I had to be honest with myself. And I think with anything that you do, with any job, with any career, with any, if you're a singer, if you're a bus driver, it doesn't matter. You know, you you're you're constantly expressing yourself and who you are. You know, when I'm trying to talk to someone that I don't know, or I'm trying to work with somebody that maybe I'm trying to mentor, I have to give up a piece of myself. I have to be honest without where I came from, and maybe not share all the things that I've done in my life, but a good portion. Because how else do you expect other people to open up to you? So. You say to yourself, okay, well, how, how do I do that? How do I go there? How is it maybe sound easier than it really is? But I think the important thing, the first thing that you have to do is be honest with who you are and where you came from. You don't have to tell anyone, but at, the, at first, if you don't want to. Um, but be honest, trust your gut. It all takes a little work. It takes a lot of practice being honest and trusting your gut. But eventually you'll start to feel it and you'll start to own up to it. And sometimes being honest isn't easy. You have to maybe tell a very close friend something that's really, really important to you that you see happening that you need to be honest with them because you don't want them to get into a situation that might be detrimental to their life or even just a small situation where you say, hey, I, I really need to, I really want to say this to you because I believe as your friend, I, um, I need to be honest and truthful and help you with this situation. And guess what? They might not like it very much. Um, of course, there's always a way to say things to people, but still in the end, they may not like it. And you know what? It's okay sometimes because as long as you're doing everything in your power to help someone or that you feel you're helping someone, um, you can't control their response. But it's up to you to be the best person that you can possibly be. I also find that if you can find a quality about yourself that you know you're good at, uh, I mean, if you're, you're good at coordinating social events, like you find yourself in school, you're always the planner. You're always the person that people come to and say, hey, we should get this, you know, we should do this. And you set everything up. That's a really amazing quality. And you can use that to your advantage. Or, hey, you know what? I'm a great painter or tagger or however you want to use it, but an artist. And use that to your advantage, to be proactive. Even if you're a great musician or you're a great writer or you're great at math, if you have that in the in the back of your mind and close to your heart and know that that is a confidence, that is confidence in you, that helps you move forward. 
in your ability to be honest in life. And I know it sounds small and I know it might sound weird, but try it. Because there's one thing that you can always count on in life and it's change. So you have to be able to go with the flow. So I say, find the honesty in you because you will not